Conceive of a flower, like no other. But the curving clarity, the, the photic charity of crystalline silence. Past the rainbow's violence, a white fragrance, white as a virgin's first kiss, or the lost heartbeat I gave over to the universe when first we met, when first I set my sails for a new horizon. Passion and pride put down and sacrificed to the gods of love, to the holders of dreams, to the bearers of my gift, to wings that take their lift from the winds of sorrow. A meadow of perfect blossoms, refracting the light you give me onto a page of history and hope. My brother, the night, takes me. And I am not tomorrow anymore. But my words endure, pure as a field of glass roses, row upon perfect chaotic row, not discovered in this incarnation. But they are out there. Heal swift the aching wound that keeps you far from me. Leave now the temples ruined that once held perfidy. Grow strong and find your way along life's pleasant roads. In night or brightest day, stride tall with lightest loads. Be certain of your worth. Be fair to all you meet. Greet failure with rebirth. Greet folly with retreat. Place heart to ink to page and speak with honest sound. Pour out the poison rage and leave it on the ground. Welcome to the land of radiant tigers, bright eyes like coherent beaming ruby rods, fiercely piercing the fear jungle of life, pouncing like Lord Byron on a first draft. Poets glide on the slip and slide emotions, wetted and wet with the potions of passion, sweetmeats met in the feast of least persistence, an insistence on the order of a random universe. Roadwork with the soda jerk mixology of words that ever vests with a laugh in the daft draft of expressions caught caterwauling to glance off the silvered glass mirrors of albedoed radiance. Welcome to the land of radiant tigers, citrus stripes on cocoa black, warm as memory, cold as calculations in an impatient leisure, counting found funds, lost time, and three deep breaths. Against the odds, against the gods forced on us by friend or foe, we fight. Beyond mere will where our weapons kill more than just flesh, slaying truth and light. We have been cast as tumbling dice amid the mortals who repel us, that would sell us for a smile from cold idols carved of ice. We have fallen and have risen and taken penance given every mile. Cartouche. My fingers melt the surface of the stone. I alone know the meaning of the symbols I leave. Names unpronounceable, truths unrenounceable, enigma for the stoic sleuths that will ponder the meaning of words without words, sounds without sounds, dreams without end, cut into the living stone to bear witness to a time when gods walked this earth and spoke only to be heard. Touch not the walls that I have set to keep you out, to my regret. I need them there to keep me sane against the knowledge of the pain. Touch not the walls that I have built of shadowed rage and patient guilt. I've sculpted them of faded day that I might keep the past in play. Touch not the walls that I endure for actions rash and thoughts impure. My prison shell, my private hell, the place, this face, wherein I dwell. <laughs>